Hello, welcome back to another episode of Transmission Parts ID with Victor Sane. This week, 4L60E series again, 700R4s, 4L65, 4L70. You know this unit. We've covered a lot of things on it before. This week, we're going to do five pistons. As you can see, we got more than five pistons here because we're covering the variations on each one of these pistons. Let's get ready and go. Love the smell of burnt rubber in the morning. I think this input drum came by and puke pistons all over my table. So let's see what these pistons are. First we have the retainer for the 4L60E. As you can see, there's going to be some bonus material in here above and beyond the pistons. This retainer, 4L60E, this retainer, see how different it is? 700 R4, an early 4L60E. To the bottom. Top. Very different. Very easy to tell the difference. Overrun pistons. These are all in the input drum where I'm showing you first. The overrun pistons which apply, or some people call them the coast clutches. This is the later steel 4L60Es. This is the earlier 700R4s. This doesn't matter whether it's auxiliary or non-auxiliary. It's the same overrun piston. Molded rubber, steel versus aluminum. And you have the forward pistons, the earlier one, Aluminum again versus the later 4L60, 4L65, 4L70s, molded rubber. You can't replace the, the rubber on them anymore, and they cost more. This increases the cost of your build. Also, most of your kits don't come with these. You have to buy them separately. And you have the piston retainers for the forward piston. And these are actually the same and interchangeable. All the 700 4L60Es, 4L65, 4L70s, the same retainer. Then you have the return springs, another set of return springs. There are different ones of these. Notice right away, your height is different. Height of the springs. The strength of the springs is different. This one, I know you can't see on camera, but if you pinch this, these springs are noticeably stronger than these. Early springs are weaker. The lighter springs are stronger, more compact. These apply fingers, five fingered hubs, apply the three, four clutches are the same. Can be interchanged. Then you have the three, four pistons. Of course, again, the earlier ones are aluminum. You can replace the seals. The later, 4L60Es. 4065, 4L70s, molded rubber steel, and you cannot replace the rings. Now, you notice as I take these apart how they're stacked, but there is a third stacking you'll see where they have in the early 90s, they have all these aluminum pistons 
stacked together. And then in the bottom, they will have this lighter piston in the bottom with these aluminum pistons, with all these aluminum pistons. And that is not the way it's stacked. But these aluminum pistons on the top. That is the three different variations you'll see in the stacking. Now let's move on, because we've got a lot of ground to cover, to your refer reverse input drums. Earlier reverse input drums have these aluminum pistons again with replaceable seals. This. Then their later model, you have the steel piston, but it still has replaceable seals. You have two different aluminum pistons for these, and one is for a three clutch drum and one is for a four clutch drum, and it's the height that's different. The major difference you're going to see is going to be between the steel and the aluminum. Put these together. Look at that. Right there, can you see? The aluminum piston is actually a larger diameter, which means the drum is different too. So you cannot interchange these. And if you'll notice, since it's, the aluminum is a larger diameter, if you remember your equation for force, the pressure multiplied by the area equals the amount of apply force that you have. So with this larger diameter aluminum piston, you're actually going to get more clamping force on your reverse input clutches. So I prefer using a drum with the aluminum piston rather than the steel piston because I get more apply force. Now moving on to the low reverse piston. There are actually, I have two here, there are actually four different ones of these. But what you really need to know here on these four L60Es is when you lay them on the table, let me get my basket out of the way. You lay these on the table, upside down of course. And then measure. The height here. You'll see. See that gap? Right there? Because that pist this piston is shorter. And this piston is taller. The bigger is not always better. You actually want the shorter one because this is your V8 piston and it leaves more room because the difference is right here. And that leaves more room for an extra clutch in steel in the low reverse. This has more aluminum between here and here, which takes up more room in the case and you end up losing a clutch in a steel. These are for V6 applications. There are two different V6 pistons and two different V8 pistons. You want to always use a V8 piston and get that extra clutch in your low reverse. Low reverse is a high failure. Now, you'll notice that if you get if you've got parts in a pile, which I don't I have nice organized shelves of course. But if you've got parts in a pile or if you go buy some parts and they're all in a pile You'll notice a very big similarity between this piston and these. They look a lot alike, even in height. But this is actually a 350 piston. The easiest way to tell is you look right here where this divot is. It coincides with the relief in the case. And where that is in relation to your relief for the parking pole. You see, I've, I've marked it here. 
right here where you can see that when you look at it from a distance you put this at six o'clock you can see that's at eleven o'clock the divots at eleven o'clock when the relief is at six o'clock do the same thing with the 350 and you'll notice that if you put the parking pole relief at six o'clock your divot is over here at two o'clock See, totally different when you know what to look for another 350 piston because they do the same thing on 350s see the if I get it right see the height different v6 v8 That is all five of your pistons. This being the fifth one. And there's your bonus material. So, get off the couch and get dirty. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment, and ask questions. Don't forget to share our videos. Sharing is caring.